Hello on this special day. What's special about it? Yes, it's Mothering Sunday or Mother's Day. It's the day when we think specially about our mums, about the way they love us, care for us, all that they do for us, and we thank God for them. This morning when I woke up, I thought about my mum and I thanked God for all that she meant to me. It's great to think about our mums today, isn't it? So I think we should give our mums a big round of applause. And the other way. Yes. Thank you, God, for our mums. Yes. Now, did you know that there's someone who loves us even more than our mums and anyone else in our family? And that's God. God loves us so much. Jesus loves us. He loved us so much that he became the rescuer and he died for us. Now, today's story, we have um, some of Jesus's friends, disciples, and they didn't understand what Jesus was teaching them about God's love. They got it in a bit of a muddle, really, because they thought that they had to do something to earn God's love. They were arguing. You can just imagine it, can't you? I'm the most important one in God's kingdom. No, you're not. I'm more important than you are. No, I'm oh, way cleverer than both of you. I'm the cleverest of all. No, you're not. I'm the cleverest. No, I am the most important one of all. And so on. They had forgotten that they didn't have to earn God's love. They didn't have to try to be the cleverest, the most important, the nicest. They didn't have to try to be somebody else. They just had to be themselves because God doesn't have favourites. He loves us all just the same. He loves us just as we are because God's love is a gift. It's free. And they had forgotten that. Jesus heard them arguing. He knew what they were arguing about and he was going to teach them about God's love and how it was a gift. And in order to do that, he was going to use some people who were expert at being gift takers. But I think I'll let my friend Rebecca tell the story. Hello. My name's Rebecca and guess what? Last week my mum and dad said to me we're going to see Jesus and I was so excited because I'd been wanting to go and see Jesus and my mum said that we were going to, she was going to ask Jesus to bless me. Oh, I was so excited as we went to see Jesus. As I skipped along, my heart was full of happiness and I had a big smile on my face. And when we got there, there were lots of other children with their parents too. There were some grumpy looking men around Jesus. They looked as if they'd just been arguing. One of them came over to us and he said, what are you doing here? And my dad said, well, we brought our children here for Jesus to bless them. And the man said, go away. Jesus is too busy for children. He's tired. Imagine how he felt. My heart wasn't filled with happiness anymore. My smile vanished. So I turned away and then I heard Jesus's voice. It said, no, don't send them away. Let the children come to me. And as I looked, Jesus held out his arms and there was a big smile on his face and his eyes were full of love. Well, we didn't wait for him to say anything else. We ran to Jesus and we hugged him and we told him all our news. And then we sat and we listened to him talking to us. Then after a while, Jesus said something pretty amazing to his friends, because I think the men were his, grumpy men were his friends. And he said, no matter how big you grow, never grow up too much that you lose your child's heart full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in God's kingdom. <gasps> that was an amazing 
amazing thing to say, to think that God was using us children to teach the adults. And that God said that we children were the most important. Oh, my heart was bursting with happiness as we left Jesus and his friends. And I had a really big smile on my face. And if it was possible, it would have been from ear to ear. <laughs> I was so happy that I was important to God and that he loved me. Oh, I think that's my mum calling me. So I think I'm going to have to go now. So bye. Wow. <laughs> I think there are a few wows in that story, don't you? Number one, Jesus used the children to teach the disciples about God's love. And you know something? Jesus can still use children to teach the grown ups things. Just take kids church, for example. Um, not are you just um, sharing with your peers, but with the adults, too. And they can see your trust in God as you use your gifts to worship him and share your love for God and your joy. And it's great. So that's a real wow, that is, that God can still use you. And number two, Jesus said, let the children come to me. He had time for children. Jesus has time for children. He still does talk to him tell him about everything tell him about your your day what you've been doing I mean he already knows what you've been doing but he likes you to talk to him about it um, tell him about the things that worry you tell him about the things that make you happy you must never forget to do that too sometimes we do and sometimes we need to listen to him sometimes we can hear him talking to us through his word the bible when we're listening to a story something might stick out or or words of a song might come into our mind or we might get a picture in our mind or just a phrase and that's jesus speaking to us and sometimes we just need to be we just need to relax and spend time quietly just being aware that god and jesus is with us. Now we find this story today in uh, Mark chapter 10, that's one of the references, and one of the verses says, Jesus took the children in his arms and placed his hands on their heads and blessed them. And sometimes I like to think about Jesus putting his hand on my head and I imagine it and I imagine him next to me. And that's a good thing to do sometimes. You might like to try that. Just be with Jesus, spend time with him. And our third wow is to remember that you are very important to Jesus. You are very important to God. Uh, he's always with you and he will never leave you. How do I know that? It says so in the Bible and God never ever lies. So I think we should pray now, don't you? Father God, we just thank you that you use children to teach um, the disciples about trusting in you. Thank you that you still use children today in lots of different ways and especially in kids church. And we thank you that you say um, that you will never leave us and you're always with us. You say that in the Bible and you never, ever lie. Thank you for giving us families and thank you for, especially for our mums today. We pray that you will bless each and every one of them with your love and your presence with them. Amen. Bye and I'll see you next time.